Everybody on YouTube, Luigi Bunny Mano here, and welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time we uh, entered the Indoline 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 Sanctum. I I hope I pronounced the Indoline part. Was it Andaline? I and Andaline sounds like a flower. But anyways, oh look at that, 69 is on the screen. Isn't that nice? Anyways, let's just let's just enter the Praetorium. We're going it's the wrong way. Good place. Yeah, here it is. Alright. We rest. We rest for the wicked. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow in the Sanctum's audience chamber. If there is nothing else, I shall take my leave. Okay. Thanks for all your help. My pleasure. Good night. Night. Hey, Pyra. So, Adam, what kind of a person was he? Should I ask Mithra? No, no, it's fine. I was just wondering. She was incredible. Incredible? In Mithra's memories, I mean. I knew them only very briefly before I went to sleep. But Mithra can't remember a more genuine, courageous person. She had never met a more wonderful man. He sounds like a real hero. Mm hmm And you remind her of him a lot. Oh, I do, do I? Great. Wait, what? <laughs> I suppose Mithra won't be very pleased I told you that. Pyra, come on. I agree with her, you know. This morning, Miss Fan. Oh, has somebody got a little crush? Mia, what are you doing here? Early riser, always have been. Oh, I see how it is, you know. I wonder about Pyra and Mithra would think. Hey, no. You got the wrong. Just. Just what? Go on. I don't know. I thought she looked. sad. Oh. Good morning, you two. There's still some time before your audience. Sorry, we just woke up really early. Ah, I see. That's a pretty nice mural. Very. grand. It depicts the creation of Alrest. They say this mural was painted long ago, when the nation of Indol was still new. Oh, you've been looking at it for a while? They're missing. What do you mean by they? My memories. I know that I must have been around since this mural was first painted, or even earlier, but I don't remember that time at all. Well, you had a blade. I don't know who I was, or what I did, and I'd really like to. Mithra's lived for an awful long time. Maybe she'll know something about you. Mithra called me Haze earlier. Could it be possible that she met me somewhere before, sometime in the past? Do you want to ask her later? Could I? Oh, thank you very much. No, no need to thank me. You helped us too. Look at you going all red. I'll tell Pyra, I swear. What? I told you it's not like that. We'll see.
Hey, relax. You'll give yourself wrinkles. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. It was you who told me that. Well, the other you, I mean. You mean Mithra? Of course. It was 500 years ago, so perhaps you have forgotten. Oh, I do remember saying that. So it's true? But how could she possibly remember? You're wondering how I could remember words from so long ago? What's this? You could call it a diary, I suppose. It contains details about my past lives. It's the only way I have to remember. When we return to the Coral Crystal, our minds are wiped clean of all memories. Though a blade's life is eternal, our affected lifespans as individuals are far shorter than a human's. You know, it's not just me. A lot of blades try to preserve their memories in journals like this one. Even though it's often futile. After all, a core crystal cannot protect a diary. Usually, the volume is lost to us, along with our memories. I'm fortunate amongst blades. I'm passed down as an imperial treasure and recorded in official chronicles. Uh, Bridget? I don't know where your true intentions lie. I can only make an educated guess. But Rex, he is your driver. If you truly trust him, I would advise you tell him everything. If you can't do that even for him, you shouldn't be his blade at all. I just... If you care about him, it's even more important. I know what it's like to be afraid of rejection. I really do. But... If you don't tell him now, you're just storing up pain for later, not making it easier. The way you say that... You really do see right through me. Well... We go back a long way, as you recall. And we're both blades, after all. It's almost time. Yeah, it's time to leave. Let's go. How long this cutscene is. I mean, we're at eight minutes in. I normally stop at like 15, so. Make it short, please. That's all I ask. My man actually had the guts to climb a whole tree. That that that's impressive. Really, it is. Hey, wait, there's metal in the tree? Well, I didn't expect that.
Okay, no, he should be dead, though. He, 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 it looked like he should have died. Just saying it. Traitor. Traitor Amalthus. The boy has arrived, your eminence. Thank you. So you're Rex. I've heard much. Hi, uh, you're not the Praetor, are you? Huh? No way. Indeed. I am Amalthus. I understand your surprise. I imagine you expected somebody older. We heard that you were Cole's driver. Your, your eminence. Sorry, sorry. No need for formalities. I am a mere representative of the Praetorium. The name Praetor is simply a decoration, if you will. In any case, we're the same. You and I, Aegis drivers, I consider us equals. <laughs> I feel a bit better now you put it that way. Your eminence. You're different somehow. I seem to recall a more forceful personality. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. I got this, from Cole. He said it belonged to you. Please. Ah, Cole. That brings back memories. We're looking for a way to Elysium. Cole told us that you would know the way. I have to get to Elysium. To to save all rest, any way I can. I mean, we won't know for sure what we can do until we get there, I suppose. But if the stories are true, it's somewhere we can all live safely. It has to be real. Long ago, too long ago, I used to think like you. Indeed, it led me to climb the world tree. However, I did not find the easel, or the architect. I believe it was because I was unworthy. Rex, I know your desire all too well. I shall help you on your quest. Really? Oh, thank you so much. No need for thanks. This may be my destiny. The reason I've lived all these years. And now... Pyra. My name is Pyra. I would be honored to have a moment alone with Pyra. I'd like to reminisce a little. <laughs> 